Hi, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Active Directory Rights Management Services. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use ADRMS to protect a Microsoft Outlook email message, and then how to open an IRM protected email. Now let me quickly explain these terms. ADRMS is a software product that makes information rights management possible, and information rights management is abbreviated as IRM. I've already set up a virtual environment for a company called CP and Dell Enterprises with an ADRMS installation. I'll log on to a client computer as Nicole Holiday, who is a user in the CP and Dell domain. First, I'll open up Microsoft Outlook. I'll click New to create a new mail message. And I'll address it to all the employees in the company using this Active Directory group I created. To protect the message, I'll click Permission and select Do Not Forward. Notice the banner that appears. I'll click Send, and once the message leaves the Outbox, I'll close Outlook, and then I'll log off. Now we'll open this protected email as another user in the CP and Dell domain. I'll log on to the client computer as Stuart Railson, who is a member of the employee's distribution group that Nicole sent the email to. I'll open Microsoft Outlook, and we can see the email from Nicole. Notice that the message cannot be viewed in the reading pane until Stuart's credentials are verified. Now, Microsoft Office will connect to the ADRMS server to verify those credentials. The message opens, and we can tell from the banner that this is a protected email. Recipients can read the message, but cannot forward, print, or copy the content. We can verify this by first noticing that the forward option is unavailable. I'll click the Office button and notice that the Print and Save As options are also unavailable. Okay, I've just shown you how you can use ADRMS to protect email messages and then how to open ADRMS protected emails. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.